ancient landscape of thorn scrub and granite boulders, more than two billion years old. Home to a surprising variety of animals. King of the hill is the ferocious jungle cat, about the size of a large house cat. The jungle cat might be one of India's most common feline species, but seeing one in the wild is not so common. The Deccan Plateau has a large population of these little cats. But their home within these rocks was almost lost. A Hindu priest tells Sandesh that a powerful god dwells amongst these rocks. <laughs> He tells me that a few years ago, a mining company started dynamiting the boulders for construction material. But the local people fought hard for their temple. And for now, the deity of the rocks has prevailed. The last couple of days I've been sitting here looking like a bush, and you won't believe it. But right here, I'm surrounded by over a dozen jungle cats. Normally you see a jungle cat and it's gone before you even say jungle cat. And here, I've been spending hours with them. They sleep a lot. Maybe I should write a paper on that. The top cat in this pile of boulders is one big badass male, half blind in one eye. He probably got injured in a fight. They may be called jungle cats, but these rugged felines, with long legs and large pointy ears, thrive wherever they have a mind to, from swamps and grasslands to the rocks here. By midday, the Deccan Plateau starts heating up. And there is not much else to do but lay down for a little cat nap. It's a good life to be a jungle cat amidst these holy boulders. All a jungle cat needs is a small pile of rocks to call home and they'll help the farmers by keeping check on the rodent population. I'm very thankful the local people have fought off the stone destruction and protected these boulders so full of life. <laughs> <laughs>